Hey guys, welcome back. So in our last video, we talked about a better database and we actually made some modifications to our database in order to have a more view friendly database. And in these next couple of videos, we'll be accomplishing grabbing the information from the database and actually displaying it in our app. So here you see, we kind of have a generic um, setup of the view display. Now it doesn't have all of the, the bells and whistles and the buttons, but that'll come later. We just wanna get the basics down. So as you see here, I have just a couple of different posts. Um, th this isn't my dog, by the way, if you were wondering, but I thought it was really cute. So let's go ahead and just jump right into Firebase and we'll take a look at our structure and that way we can move forward with grabbing the information in order to display it in this UI. Okay, so here we are in Xcode, and the first thing we want to do is go ahead and import Firebase, since we will be pulling information from Firebase. The next thing we want to do is create um, a reference to our Firebase database. So I'm just going to do a database reference. It's gonna be of type Firebase database reference. All right, so now that we've done that, what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and initialize that in the view did load. So in the view did load, I'm just going to say database dot reference is equal to a Firebase database, Fire F I R database dot reference. Oops, dot database dot reference. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to grab all of our users. So if I just scroll up to our users, I need to go to following and then my user ID. So let's go ahead and set a reference. Well, actually let's go ahead and first grab our user ID to store. So I'm gonna say if, if let current user or maybe our user ID, let's say user ID is equal to fir auth dot auth. Nothing new here. Current user. Dot UID. Okay, so at this point, now we should have our user ID. So with our user ID, we're gonna go ahead and create another reference to our following. So we're gonna say, let my following reference, say ref is equal to database reference dot child. So we're just getting the path where we have our following the users that we're following store is in a folder call or a structure or branch or whatever called following and under our user ID. So UID, which we just got here. All right, so that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and actually use this reference to grab back the information. And we're gonna do that by saying my following reference dot observe value. So we want to get the values back there from there. And we're going to store into a snapshot and call it my, let's say following snapshot. How about that? That'll work. And let's just handle this error here. So if we get an error right now, all we're going to do is just print it. We're not going to worry about that right now. Then we're going to come back here. And now that we have the snapshot, we want to store it to a dictionary. So let's create a dictionary now. Let me actually like, yeah, let following dictionary equal, let's just make this a little bit bigger. Okay, our snapshot, which is following snapshot dot values, we wanna get the values and we wanna save that as an NS dictionary. So this is gonna be a key value pair. Now, now that we have all of our following, so we, now we have her and you, your IDs, um, what we need to do now is use your IDs to go grab your posts. So let's jump to Firebase really quickly. So now that we have her, well, her and you, what we need to do now is we need to jump down to the post because that's what we want to get. And 
we want to get all of her posts. So she has four posts and all of you's posts. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and do that. So post and then the user ID. So I'm gonna jump back into Xcode. So with this, I'm just gonna loop this. So for UID or let's say ID, and I'm not gonna need the user because it's basically saying the same thing twice um, in our following dictionary. What we want to do is we want to use that to create another reference to their post. So let use users post reference equal FIR, well, database reference. So basically we're gonna be doing the same exact thing. So our database reference. Dot child is called posts. Is it post or post? Is it with a, it's just, it's no S. Okay. Don't know if I would, anyway. Okay, so post dot child and then the ID of the user. So now we have a reference to all their posts and we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing we did here. Do another observe. I think it wants this as a string, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna say user reference, user post reference dot observe. And we're going to grab the values stored into this snapshot called post snaps or snapshots, how about that? Okay, and just handle this error. Like I said, again, we're just gonna print if there's an error. Ah. And for our code is actually yelling me about something. We actually have to have to say self because it's so deep within uh, these closures. Okay, so now we have a dictionary of all of our users' posts. Now what we want to do is uh, we if we go back to Firebase and look at it really fast, all of their posts are stored as dictionary. So for this value, the well this key, these are our values. Now let's go ahead and just print this out just to make sure that we have it. And with this information, if we have it, we'll be able to actually, let me actually go back to Xcode. There we go we'll be actually able to populate our feed. So let's see if we have it. So I'm just going to loop through, well actually I have to create another dictionary, right? So here's the following, let me just space this out a little bit. Here's the post, and actually, I guess go back. There we go. So this is everything for our, to get our, well, to get the users we are following, just to kind of break this up a little bit. And this is to get the users who we are following. Posts. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our dictionary like we did here. Let me say store values and dictionary. Okay, and let's do the same thing here. We're gonna store the values in a dictionary from our, our posts. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna say let posts dictionary equal post snapshots dot values as NS dictionary. Okay, so now we have our dictionary. So just for a sanity check, let's go ahead and make sure that we're actually getting seven, all seven of these posts. So let's say four posts, yeah, four P, 
which is going to stand for the post in post dictionary we're going to just print p okay so let's see if that works rush this out here and as you see what we have is we have a bunch of posts so we have post one well, well, we have one post, two posts, three posts, four posts, five posts, six posts, seven posts. So we got all seven posts. So now we'll be able to fill our UI with this information. So we are running short on time. So in the next video, we'll actually be setting up our cell for a post and displaying those posts in the UI. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions or comment, please comment below and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.